What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Guys, we have one tech news story today. We have a handful of questions. Let's jump into the tech news. We have, like I said, one story. It's our only story today before we jump into the Q&A and all that other stuff. And we did it. We made a difference. We complained yesterday that we didn't get an update for the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and mostly the Galaxy Z Flip 3 as well. Samsung got frightened out of their pants. They got so scared. They were like, oh no, not the Greggles TV army. No, not them. They're going to get so mad. They were frightened of us. So worried. They didn't know what we were going to do. They didn't know if we were going to buy iPhones or if we were going to buy old LG phones or if we are just going to smash our Samsung phones or just sit in our chairs and complain online. They didn't know what we were going to do. They were so scared that they pushed a freaking update out for our phone. I woke up this morning, got a text from, uh, I don't remember your name, area code 727, um, one of my viewers. Thank you so much. We did it, guys. We got a freaking update. Now, we're almost in October, so it's not October's update, but it pushed us up to September. Didn't really seemingly add any new features. It was a fairly big update, 700 megs. I believe it fixed like 45 bugs and issues with the phone, which is excellent. And uh, we got it though. It's a new update. I know it came out with the for the unlocked phones here in the US. Uh, some of the carrier phones got it, didn't get it. So you should get it fairly soon, but that's it. I mean, that's our story. We, we got September's update and I know that October's is rolling out right now. I believe in Korea or Japan or something like that. But yeah, we did it. We made a difference. We make a difference. You make a difference. So thank you so much. With that, uh, you know, thing. What is your qu my, your question of the day? It was jumbled up. That sounded like garbage. Your question of the day, guys, is: I know all the new phones have either come out or they're just about to come out. But what phone are you dying to get next? And maybe you just got your Z Fold three, or you just got your new iPhone. But beside, beyond that, think a little in the future. Which phone are you excited about getting next? That, for me, it's definitely the Pixel six Pro. It's definitely the Z uh, the Duo two, the Z, uh, Surface Duo two. Those for sure in the next coming up. Beyond that, it's the Z Fold 4. It's the next generation of the iPhone because they're supposed to make a different, you know, different look to it and everything like that. Um, possibly the Pixel Pixel Fold as well. But those are my phones right there. Let me know about you guys in the comments down below. With that said, guys, let's get into the Q and A portion of the video and drop that. Before I jump into, if you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question. I had to go digging, like take the shovel out and start digging, trying to find questions for you guys to answer. Let's jump into the first one. The first one comes from Buddhist Elder says, since the iPhone 13 enacted the satellite chip, do you think in your opinion, the satellite phones will make a comeback? I wouldn't be surprised if they do, due to the fact that sometimes you're in the middle of nowhere or sometimes you're somewhere and you still don't have service. Satellites are everywhere. They work basically everywhere. I've never personally used a satellite phone, so I don't know how good the quality of the calls are that you can make and all that. But I think, yeah, I think that probably is the future potentially of everything. Um, so I think you will potentially see it in more phones, especially since iPhone added it in, their, in the iPhone 13 Pro Max. If I don't even know what it fully does on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I haven't even looked too much into it, but what's going on there? Yeah, it has it though, right? It's cool, yeah, so I think you will see it in more phones. Cletus Cassidy says, I love my Fold 3, but realistically, what new features do you see for the Fold? Four. I don't think <clears throat> potentially we see a lot of differences in terms of software if you're talking about those kind of features. What I do think, and I've said this a few times, is I think you're going to see the S Pen integration. So I think once you do see the S Pen fit inside the phone, I also think that you'll see that the ability to use it with Bluetooth functionality will be there as well since it will be housed inside the phone and it will be charged inside the phone. I also think we will see, hopefully anyway, a slightly different different design uh, at least I think you'll come out like a little pro model on here and then maybe the regular four will just look like the Z Fold 3 and 2 and I think those would be some of the biggest changes but in terms of like just added software features I personally can't think of one that's fully missing that we need better battery life too 
Here's a long question from New York's finest. My friend took his new fold in the ocean on his cruise and salt water destroyed his phone. I, it won't power on and, st and salt corroded the component. It won't power on at all and he left it to dry for days. They should say on the box, do not use this in salt water. Do you know of anyone that has had this happen to their new fold or phone that's supposed to be water resistant? Is there anywhere in the booklet that says not to take it in salt water? Can he use his warranty to get it replaced or is he out of luck? Thank you for reading over my questions and keeping us up to date with the tech news. I don't think it says anywhere in the manual that you shouldn't do that. I've heard before that Samsung won't fix it. Um, well, they, they might fix it, they'll probably replace it or something, but I, I don't think they'll fix it as a routine warranty claim. But let me just do a quick search, Galaxy phones, salt, water. So right on their website, it says, if this device is exposed to any liquid other than fresh water, salt water, ionized water, etc., gently rinse it with still fresh water immediately and dry it thoroughly with a soft cloth. Otherwise, salt may accumulate and block the primary earpiece and speaker when it dries. So it doesn't say too much about it not being able to be used in salt water, like it's a, it's a must, like you cannot do it. Um, it just says that if you leave it in there too much and you don't clean it out, that it will cause an issue. In a smuts, my TV fell off its stand and now its screen is broken. Can it be fixed? This was, I, this was me just digging for questions. I found this, she wasn't asking me directly through this Q and A, but ultimately to answer her question, she's probably not even watching this, but if your TV falls and breaks and the screen breaks, yes, they, the company should be able to fix it. You're gonna have to pay for it unless you have some kind of insurance ability to get it fixed for free, but you're gonna have to pay for that. And they should, yes, they should be able to fix that. They might, it might be quite expensive, but it definitely should be able to be fixed. And our last question comes from Razvik Lopez says, hi, how do you know anything about why Spec hasn't restocked the Z Fold 3 cases yet? So he's talking about this case and I keep getting this question. I either get a question like, what what, what um, a case do you use? Which is this one. That's the Presidio clear one for the Z Fold uh, 3. And um, why isn't it in stock? I keep getting that question. So I reached out to my contact. I haven't heard of anything yet. When I do, I'll throw it in tomorrow's video unless I forget and then you guys can remind, remind me. But I will let you guys know, see what's going on like with the, cause it's been out of stock for weeks now. It's pretty ridiculous. And I know a lot of you guys want this case. Thanks for watching. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question as your first word. I will answer it in tomorrow's video. Mr. D's product reviews. Um, I know you left me a bunch of questions yesterday, the other day. I forgot to answer those and now I can't find them. So you can ask me more questions. I didn't uh, dismiss you on that one. I just forgot to answer those, sorry. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Peace.